Welcome back to Final Fantasy IX and the last part we did the Hunt Festival. Festival of the Hunt, there we go. And in this episode, my brother's eating macaroni. Mm hmm I wish he wouldn't eat in my videos. Oh, no. Uh, we're going down to the base level to do base things. We are leaving this place to go to the outside world. The which is circus. A, which is a pity because this is actually one of the better places in the game. Oh wait, that was Serpent's Gate. We don't go there. That's later. Two Dragon's Gate. Conveniently, at the bottom of Dragon's Gate, we've got a Moogle and a Shop Dude. He doesn't have anything particularly good, but if you plan on uh, grinding down here, which you probably should do, but we, we don't really need to. Moon tea? Really, moon tea. As in, like, Monty? I... But yeah, we're going to be doing a lot of stuff now, because there are so many stuff to be doing. And I swear, that mask makes me forget that that's actually his face under the mask. <laughs> For the longest time, I just thought that the Limblum guards were just incredibly ugly people. Oopsie daisies. There we go, we got the map. We're leaving Vault 13. I don't get it. <sighs> You're not supposed to. Well then why even make that joke? Because other people will. Okay. Anyway, we're going to the marshes, which we saw earlier, and it's going to be full of really wonky looking people. Q's Marsh. That's right, a Q. And actually, I believe the Mog Brothers are here, too. The Mogster Brothers. Yep, there they are. So now you know where we keep on going whenever we need to talk to Mogster. Hey, if you want to go to Marekia, it's further north. Remember, you have to go through Gizmo's Grotto. Which I dislike. Whoa. Okay. There we go. You forgot that the game looked good. Yep. It's a frog! Alright, so Freya is your basic dragoon. She has the jump ability and the dragon ability, which will have some pretty awesome stuff later. For right now, basically the only thing that she's really good for is jumping. Shocking, I know. So we're gonna steal from the Gigant Toad. Really, by the time you leave the, um, the evil forest, you should have Vivi knowing, uh, Fire, Blizzard, and Thunder. But I've been kind of lax on getting all the stuff. I mean, I've gotten a few neat things, but I haven't gotten everything that you really should get. So, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of behind. What the frick is that? Don't watch this next part or you're going to lose your appetite. Hungry. Frogs. That's not how, I'm in, how I imagine uh, that guy's for voice sound like. I have no idea what he, she sounds like, so what, what do you think? Hungry. Derp? No, I think she sounds kind of wonky. Hungry. Frogs. Derpy McDerpy. Oh, help, there be your hungry fogs, hungry fogs, hungry fogs. Let me through. I am a cute. 
Basically, what we want to do is we want to catch a frog. They're not very hard to catch. And then we get the frog to the queue. You got frog. Frog's very good. Who the heck are you? Me. Queena. A he, she, her, it queue thing. Queena, do you want this frog? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. All right, here. Yay! Mine, mine. You pathetic critter can't even feed yourself. Can't master art of eating. Just tasting frogs, Krina. But master, frogs very good. Frogs here best, better than Alexandria's. Krina, you in darkness, lead some light. <coughs> that voice is very annoying. She's a very annoying character. Ice cream. World's big place. Many, many foods. Alexandria, just one place. Need to go out more. Eat other food. Go out into world? Sounds scary. Are there yummier frogs outside? Of course! Many good frogs! Our kids love frogs best. Eating frogs is key to growth. Choose masters exist all over the world. Go eat frogs in other masters. I promise you get much learning. Traveler, please show clean out of the world. Anywhere with food, good. <laughs> you want you want me to take him with us? Alright, that's the only time that that's referred to as a him. There is another time when it's also referred to as a her. So, people really don't get it. Sure. Will I find Jimmy a fine that I? There's plenty of stuff in the world that tastes better than frogs. Really? Really? Okay, I go with you! Dot dot dot. Hi, Vivi. Hmm. What's up, Vivi? Um... That man looks exactly like Grandpa. Your grandfather? Who, that quail guy? His name is Quail. Ha uh ha. -huh. Yeah. Maybe he knows about my grandpa. I'm gonna go talk to him, Zidane. What wrong? Something on my face? Um, do you know a human named Guan? A human? A man. I don't know why I said human. I... I know not that bigot! Grandpa Quan was a bit strange, but... How do you know him? I... I know Ken Affer. Grandpa Quan looks exactly like you, Mr. Quail. Of course! We're from the same tribe! Hmm? You really don't know him? No! I know not this Quan! Honestly? That's too bad. Let's go, Vivi. Okay. That was annoying. Yep. And Queen is going to be with us for the rest of the game, and she is also very annoying. He, she, it is also annoying. And there's this frog-catching mini-game. Dang! Can I catch frogs? Frogs again? Uh, what do you want to do? 
is you do want to catch like two or three frogs every time you get to a to a place because if you just if you catch too many frogs then they won't repopulate but if you only catch a few frogs then they repopulate frogs are not nearly as easy to catch as they were the first time because queen is a big idiot in fact i think you have to like turn on um walking just for this to work is a blue mage. Basically what it is is she eats stuff like Kirby and then she learns their abilities like Kirby. Her trance is to cook things before she eats them. I don't know why that would be a trance thing. But um, if she, it, it gives her a higher chance of consuming the thing because it's based on the enemy's HP and whether or not it knows an ability or not. If it does know an ability for her to learn then it's harder for her to eat. He, she, it. He, she, it. Whatever. Anyway. So, yeah. There are lots of really cool abilities that she can learn, and also really dumb abilities that he can learn. Alright. If this is a new enemy, then we'll keep it. If not, then we'll skip it. Oh, we haven't seen this before. It also looks kind of scary. The Serpium. Basically, Queen is completely useless until she learns it. Her fork does do a little bit of damage, but it's not really worth... Oh. Wasting time. Oh, apparently this thing can heal itself. That's kind of annoying. I know, get me going, huh? Unfortunately, the enemy has to be about uh, ten percent of its no of its health in order for her to be able to eat it. And in these early levels, that's really hard to do because things usually have less than a thousand health. Up oh, there, it goes dead. Da -da 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 Anyway, so along with getting Queen as our next party member, we're also going to go to the, um... Oh, that's wrong. To the Chocobo Forest, which is over here. Ugh, I'm having an allergy attack. I apologize. <coughs> Already seen these. Skip it. Come on, shoot. I'm still having trouble with my freaking controls. There. All dome-shaped um, forests like this are chocobo forests. They are all over the freaking place. And they're lots of fun. I actually really like the, uh, the chocobo minigame that they have you do here. Koopo! I'm Mean, the master of the forest. This chocobo is my friend. His name is Choco. Really. Qua. And this is... Chocobo's Forest! 
Hey, did a cute girl with long hair come by here? Nope, but ugly girl, but ugly girl came by here. Oh, I guess she didn't come this way. Maybe she's heading towards Vermeckia after all. I better get moving. You in a hurry, Koopa? Yeah, sorta. Then take Choco. You won't run into monsters if you ride Choco. Choco, come here. It's okay, don't force him. No, if Choco hates, Choco runs away. Choco, come on! Quick! Fine, I'll just get to the point, Koopo. These are Gishel Greens. You can call Choco outside the world with these. Find Chocobo footprints near the forest, Koopo. Use Gishel Greens there and Choco will come. Choco likes you, Koopo. You call and he'll come. Ugh. Please train Choco. Make him strong. Come back to this forest after you call him to in the world. I'll tell you a big secret, Koopo. Alright, so basically we go get the Chocobo, we come back here, and we can do a mini-game, and we can find some cool treasures, and everything is K. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Um, there we go. You can only call Chocobos from these Chocobo tracks, which you can see down here. Basically, we go to our items, we use the Grishel Greens. And Quay! Whoops, I didn't mean to call you. Don't call me if you don't need me. I like the chocobo theme. I like it a ukulele. Choco, how are you, Koopo? Quack. Welcome back, Koopo. I knew you'd get along with Choco, Koopo. Did you know, Koopo? Once Chocobo chooses his master, it follows him forever. Choco ran away from his last master. That guy was mean. Choco didn't like him, Koopo. I helped Choco escape. Now we're living together, Koopo. Here's the thing, Koopo. Choco has ability to seek out treasures and hidden items underground. But I can't ride Chocobos. Will you help me, Koopo? Sixty gil per game, and you keep all the items Choco digs up. Wanna pay me sixty gil? Sure. Alright, now I'll let you use Choco's ability for sixty gil per minute. Okay, give it a try. So basically, we only have a minute. And it's a, it's a hot and cold treasure hunt. Basically, we move Chocobo, the Chocobo around, press square to dig, and if it finds anything, then we win. You are. Oh. Thank you. Quam means nothing. Quam means far away. Quam means you're close. And Quam means you found something. Rare treasures are buried deep. Once you find something, dig with square, and dig until you reach zero. Basically, the more you do this, the stronger each dig becomes, and you can do it much, much faster. Which means that the best way to do this is to do it a whole lot. Which I'll probably do off screen, actually, because these again can get really irritating. I'm already near something. Not far. Normal items like eye drops or something are uh, just one point. And the more points you get, the, the better things get later on. found two things. Anyway. <clears throat> so, I'm gonna buy a few Gishel Greens from this. So I can do this later off screen. I'll give you a point for each item you find. Exchange points for items when you save up enough. Whoops. And then these are the these are the points difference. For 10, you get Gishel Greens, and then all the way up here, we can get some of the better stuff. But that takes a lot of time to build up. Still, those Robe of Lords and Protect Ring are pretty good. Anyway, it says that the beak level is 1. The, um, like I said, the stronger the beak level is, the easier it'll be to find treasures. So yeah, this, this mini game pretty much requires that you do it a whole lot. I'm probably not going to show you a whole lot in the Let's Play, but if I actually uh, acquire some of the good stuff, then I'll show it.
What is mode 7? That's that SNES uh, mode that makes everything look all 3D. I don't get it. Anyway. Like F Zero, the Final Fantasy VI Overworld. Hey, I like the Final Fantasy VI Overworld. Gizmo looks grotto. I really like this music, actually. Do, 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 do. No. Ah, goddammit. Come on, get up. Damn it, say something. Oh, man. The Black Mages, who are they? Uh, um. It's okay, you didn't do anything. Vivi, aren't they your... Hmm? The, the king might be in danger. Come on. I sure hope Dagger didn't come here. Let's go! <clears throat> Alright, so here, here... It's basically a, a bell puzzle. We get bells from all over the place, and we use them to open different doors. It's kind of annoying. Black Mages couldn't do anything. We're here to help. We're on our way to Bermekia. Ugh. I'm done for. Take this bell and go to Vermechia. The Black Mages took our bells. The kings in palace, please protect. <sighs> hey! I'll protect him, don't worry. Got the Gizmo Luke's bell. The bell in your hand and the doorbell are ringing. The bell in your hands shattered. Ah, oh, that's pretty weird. Kill! 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 Ha ha! Who is that? That I don't know. I know I've seen him somewhere before. Somewhere before? I have not seen him, I know. I guess it is not important. Let's kill him. Yes, kill him, shall we? Kill! Kill! What was that? Kill! 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 I do not believe that is right. These are type A black mages. I guess there's a whole bunch of different types. Grade A black mages. Grade B black mages. Kapiao! Wow. Really? Oh, yes, they are. That did pretty. That did a bit of damage. Anyway, you can't eat these things. Don't even try. And they only carry Phoenix down, as far as I know. Their magic is pretty powerful, though, so I suggest you kill them as quickly as you can. We are kind of under-leveled for this place, but, eh, we'll make do. Da -da. Was Freya in the city? Freya? No, I wish she was. Aww. There were a lot of people who really should have been in Dissidia. They added the wrong people in Duo Decim. Did people not like Duodecim? I like Duodecims. He savage monsters they are! Run away! Yeah, I like Duodecim, but they, they added the wrong characters. So it's like Mega Man 7? I don't know what you mean by that. You know, Mega Man 7 had not-so-good weapons. Uh, okay. Alright. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know Mega Man well enough to be able to say anything about that. You've played Mega Man 7. Well, yeah, but I don't, I don't know Mega Man that well. I don't know if the weapons there were any better or worse than normal.
That ability is pretty useful, but it takes 250 AP to learn. Receive the Gizmaluk's bell. Now really, it's just like in the water temple. They give you just enough keys to open all the doors, but you can get lost pretty easy if you can't remember where they all are. Oh, and these things. These are zombies. You want to have Queena eat one of them, because she'll learn Pumpkin Head, which is a pretty useful skill. Like I said, having her eat something isn't the easiest thing in the world. Especially when they can hurt you pretty bad. even when you steal. Kind of like Mug. I believe. I think we should end this part. Yep. Oh, no, it just raises the success rate of steal. Okay. Um... Yeah, okay. Alright, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone!